The eruption of Kilauea on the island of Hawaii continues as the new year gets underway. The USGS volcano alert level remains at watch with all eruptive activity confined to the summit caldera within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. No unusual activity has been noted elsewhere on the volcano. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory geologists recorded new video during a helicopter flight over the summit on the morning of January 3rd, where a gas plume rises into the sky and is carried to the southwest. Sulfur dioxide emissions remain elevated at about 30,000 tons per day. The scientists landed at the caldera and collected a molten sample of lava, which is quickly quenched with water in a metal bucket. A later analysis will provide them with information about conditions in the magma chamber below and its path to the surface. There were previously two vents erupting lava in this location, but one of the vents shut down early Thursday morning after parts of the cone collapsed into the fountain. This map published on January 2nd shows in pink the full extent of the flows since the eruption started on December 23rd. A total of 673 acres or 272 hectares. Half of that area, in red, is still active lava. Scientists estimate the total volume to be at least 4 billion gallons or 15 million cubic meters. This is the third episode of the summit eruption. This graph of tilting at the summit shows how eruptive activity has been associated with deflation of the summit magma reservoir. In earlier episodes, this deflation has led to pauses in lava activity. The current eruption is expected to wax and wane in vigor, but only time will tell if it will drop to a sustainable low fusion rate or slowly diminish and end. In the meantime, crowds continue to pack the overlooks at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park to witness the New Year's display.